Hello everyone, it's January the 4th, 2011, and it's time for our prayer of thanksgiving. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for life, for strength, for health. We thank you for food. We thank you for clothing. We thank you for all the blessings you provide us with. But specifically, Father, today we thank you for you just being a God who keeps his promise. We cannot comprehend how you are so faithful at keeping your promises. No human being is truly a man of his word. We do our best, but human error at some point will come in the way. Certain schedules will conflict or just health will fail us. And we will not be able to keep our promise. Memory might fail us as well. But you are a God that regardless if the world stood against you, if you made a promise, nothing stands in your way. You have promised us salvation. You have promised us uh, deliverance. You have promised us glorification. You have promised to make us holy. You have promised to abide with us. You have promised us the Holy Spirit. There are so many things you have promised us. We are ultimately looking forward to the promise that you said that you have gone to prepare a place for us. That you will come back to take us back to heaven with you. But overall, we know that whatever promise you have said, you are beyond faithful. That the moment you said it, it was guaranteed. We do not have to hope, uh, wonder if your promise is going to come to fruition. It is Your promises cannot fail. Your promise is as your promise is law. Your promise is a fact, Father. We simply say thank you. We, all we can say is thank you. Our very existence is fully reliant on just your promises. The breath we breathe depends on your promise. Every move we make, every word we say, our very thoughts depend fully on you keeping your promise to us. And all we can say is thank you for, we even know that truthfully, we do not deserve you to keep your promise. We cannot earn your faithfulness to us. We cannot make ourselves worthy of your faithfulness. But your faithfulness is simply because of who you are. Your promise is a testament to you, to your glory, to your holiness. Uh, things we can esteem to be holy, things we do not even comprehend, we do not really, or we cannot even fathom fully. Father, we just, we could go on forever saying thank you for your promises in your word. But Father, we just must say thank you. Words will not be able to. Our words will not be sufficient to describe your faithfulness to us, your promises that you've kept for us. But simply we must say thank you, thank you, thank you. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.